Hey guys, it's PC Purrs and I just wanted to come and talk to you guys because if you watch Jocelyn's show, I'm sure you know by now that they filmed the reunion and a bunch of crazy stuff happened and um, it's just a lot. So if you want to get caught up with it, I just want to let you hear some of the testimony of a few of the people that were there. Um, just kind of a shorter version of it because there are so many long videos out there and it's kind of confusing and a lot to watch. So if you want to catch it and like catch up but quickly, I'm going to do that. And then I guess we can just talk about it. I, it really makes me sad that all of this happened. I wasn't a fan of everybody on the show, but you know I don't like the fighting on the show. So first, I'm just going to bring you what Amber had to say about it. Um, yeah, so this is what she said happened. Jocelyn kicked me on my fucking stomach bad as fuck. And so I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm gonna get your ass back while you thinking you just did something. So when I saw the opportunity to crack her ass, I cracked her ass and she fell. And when Ballistic saw her hit the floor, he attacked me like a man. He rushed me, he hit me, grabbed my hair immediately. We slung around all over the floor. I cut my toes up. I got attacked by a man because I was too much for his bitch and he knew it. He knew Jocelyn came with me. She knows she came with me. That's why them hoes kept standing up together. They can't do shit by themselves. And Diamond and Raven, they just let her sit them right off. So that's what Amber had to say about what happened. And she did a few lives, um, some in her car, like you can hear that one some from the hospital room she said that she went because her ribs were bruised um yeah so she said she's gonna sue so then she did i'm gonna let you hear a little bit about k capri talking because then amber said that um that jocelyn slapped lexi blow so that was a rumor that she had stated but this is her talking to k capri see blow was talking all that shit about yeah when I turned around, when you walked on, no, remember you was like, beat her ass. Remember you was screaming, beat her ass, Lexi? That's when she slapped her. That's why, that's why you screamed, beat her ass. Remember? Yeah, oh yeah, I did say beat her ass. That's why you screamed, beat her ass. I slapped her right before you said I was telling Lexi to beat her ass because she just was in Lexi's place. Like, she slapped her right before that. You missed the slap? I missed the slap. So, in the live, K. Capri was just saying how Ruby got into it. Um, they were talking about if Lexi Blow got slapped or not. K. Capri says she missed that part. Um, and they were just talking about what a mess it was. And at first I was thinking maybe Amber was exaggerating. But then more and more of the cast members kept speaking up about it and, and kind of confirming the story. But Lexi Blow said that she didn't get slapped. So I'm going to let you say what Lexi Blow said on her live. Um, she said it was actually about something else. She said that it's about her friendship. I think with Tommy... And so, you know, if you used to watch Love and Hip Hop, that Tommy and Jocelyn don't have the best of history. So I think her situation with Jocelyn was something about that. I'm just going to let you hear her talk about that and then about what happened with Riri. Y'all got nothing to do with me. You don't mess with me. I can't be cool with them. Y'all got nothing to do with me. Jocelyn won't walk up on me and I put her right here right here in the nose of the nose. You ain't going to punk me what's up. No, she ain't slapped me. And when they run that shit, you won't see that Jocelyn so her phone was like breaking up but she basically just said that um because she's friends with tommy it doesn't mean that she can't be friends with jocelyn that it doesn't have anything to do with her so i think that's what the issue was with jocelyn and lexi blow but she said she didn't get slapped and then Jocelyn just tried to mush her like she did Amber, but they just kind of were face to face and were confrontational. So this next part is clearer. You'll be able to hear her better, but she's talking about what happened with Riri. Security want to hold everybody, hold them back and let them get their licks in. So I'm talking how she kicked this that. That's only because she has security behind her back, letting her up and had her, and had her, her husband, not her husband, off the couch, I'm telling her, Rita was, didn't even say nothing. She was sitting there just looking cute and pretty. She gonna pull her, then kick her, kick her in the stomach, and then uh, 
then one of the other little minions gonna go behind and try to they try to run up on Riri. So yeah, so the minions that she's saying tried to run up on Riri are, you know, Black Diamond and Raven. So Riri seems like she got pretty hurt. She did a lot of crying. I'm going to let you hear her and what she said. Um, I know before that she was saying she was looking forward to the reunion because she had a lot of stuff that she wanted to say. But yeah, this is Riri. Just some pain. Uh, so much pain right now. So don't mind me. I ran in bed all day. <laughs> I'm just in a lot of pain. My back hurts me, my pain hurts. And then my hips, my face, my head. Just <laughs> I didn't do that to nobody. I don't know why. know if these girls went to like I know Amber filed a police report but if the rest of the girls did too because they're on live crying and things like that but if it's really that serious I feel like all of them should I don't know it might be in their contract that they can't sue that's been something that's floating around but it's really sad so aside from them Gaia also went live and she's talked about it and you know most of the cast doesn't really mess with her like that so she was at the reunion. This is what she had to say about it. Amber, they literally, Amber was beating Jocelyn's ass. So Ballistic literally pulled her hair and pulled out a big chunk of scalp. Jocelyn looked like she was cracked the f*** out. She looked like she was on cocaine. She was literally had whiskey in her f***ing hand. She had alcohol in her f***ing hand. My mother is an alcoholic. Hell no. Everybody was drinking and smoking and shit. I'm still sober. Did nothing happen to me, bro, because I'm I'm a real fighter, bro. <sighs> you don't believe that just happened. I'm literally traumatized, y'all. That was literally so terrible. It was so traumatizing. So, I mean, I don't feel like Gaia has a reason to have the same account if she was, you know, like, it's pretty much the same story. She didn't say anything about Lexi getting slapped. I haven't heard anybody else say anything about Lexi getting slapped. Um, it's just really sad. And so everybody is saying that that's what happened with Jocelyn. Haven't heard anything from Chanel. But Raven spoke out. She really didn't say... She had a completely different story. She just spoke about how um, Jocelyn was a nice person. And how they have a good time. And I'll let you hear what she had to say, but and she talked a bunch of mess about Lexi Blow being broke. So this is what she had to say. Yes, the truth, Ed. The truth. The truth about how broke Lexi is. That's the tea. Broke Blow. From now on, part Broke Blow. Your favorite, your little favorite count rank, that's what she assumes, y'all. Realistically, I'm y'all favorite now, let's be honest. I was the most gained followers on all the new girls in the season, but hey, what do I know? Uh, nobody likes you, Lexi. You saw that you were intimidated. Yes, she was doing too much. She does too much. Y'all are all ungrateful. Jocelyn gave y'all an amazing opportunity, and y'all are just ungrateful. Jocelyn's the sweetest person I've ever met in my life. I've never been treated better by anybody, to be completely honest with you. I love the genuine organic relationship that me, her, and Diamond and Molly Pop and all of us have. It's actually a really fun. We always have the best time. We'll never be worried about We always be having a great time. We stay in the best places ever. We get treated the best. So anything like that y'all hear is all false. Yeah, because they are boring. They're not giving what it's supposed to give. So that's it. That's it. That's really just to tell y'all the truth. And then about Lexi. She's a dirty girl. girl. She doesn't have money like that. She doesn't make money like that. She has you guys all fooled. And to be honest, I would never wear a fake designer, baby girl. That's you with that little old red MCM you got. So yeah, different account, but it seems like the only people that are still messing with Jocelyn are Raven, Black Diamond, and Lollipop. So ultimately, Raven says she wants to sue. She says she wants to take down the cabaret. She doesn't want any of that to happen. Listen. Rest until Jocelyn and Ballistic is behind bar. And she says she doesn't want there to be any more cabaret. I don't know if she has a case. Um... I mean, we really haven't heard from everybody yet, but Jocelyn, apparently her Instagram got taken down, but she was on Twitter basically saying that she did all this. She was saying that she knocked them out, that she was kicking people, laying people out.
things like that. So that's not a good thing for her to kind of admit that she did that. I think it's sad that she's just falling out with everybody. She fell out with half of the cast from last season. Um, Ms. Natural went live and talked about it. So did um, Big Lex. And they were just saying that um, Ballista has a history of getting in women's faces. I think that's so sad. Um, he seemed like the sane one, the calm one. That's really unfortunate. So supposedly they're like fleeing or something. So I don't know. We'll keep it updated. I do want to finish out the season since, you know, we started it. But I don't know what's going to happen with it now. Um, I, I just think it's sad. I'm not surprised by it. Jocelyn has a history of fighting on reunion shows, but I think she probably took it too far this time. I don't, yeah, it's sad. Like, we want her to do well, and it just seems like she's not getting any better. And Stevie J has been into some stuff this week, too. So I, I just really hope that everybody can get it together, everybody can calm down, and I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to keep watching the show. Let me know if you think there's going to be another season. Let me know if this little short recap helps because these long ones are like too much for me. So yeah, I'll see you for the next one.